G'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. We've just wrapped up filming the how to change your fuel filter video, specifically for a diesel and a common rail diesel engine. This is the filter from it. And what I thought we could do is cut this guy open so that you can see exactly what is inside of a spin-on diesel fuel filter. Now there's three main types of fuel filters. Obviously you've got your gasoline or your petrol fuel filters. They're a little bit different. Normally you have an in and an out and what happens is on the inside you have a whole bunch of the filtration material, the fil filter medium. Fuel will go in one side, it will get blocked here and be forced around the outside of the filter. It then has to get pushed through the medium and then back out the center portion which is where your nice clean fuel comes from. Diesel fuel filters, however, really only have two main designs. There are a filter exchange box type design, and then the ones like this, which are really common in European engines. Uh, these are a diesel line filter or a spin-on type. And how these ones work is you can see here that even though the outside is quite cruddy, this is uh, only 5,000 kilometers old, but in the Jeep, we tend to get on the beach fairly often, so salt water it's a it's a hell of a thing pleasingly though you can see on the inside that everything is nice and clean and how these work is you can see you've got these little holes around the outside and then one main hole at the center diesel is forced down these little holes on the outside and then inside here there is the filter medium which the diesel is forced through into the center chamber here which is your nice clean diesel and up and out she goes into your injector pump so you can see there's some nice big gaskets around the outsides here and obviously everything's all nice and clean because it's been sealed. The other cool thing with this style of filter is down the bottom here you have a water chamber. So how that works is, pretend that is the, uh, the top and it's sitting vertically. As fuel is pushed down into here, any of the heavier water droplets will run down and collect in this water bowl down the bottom. And as you can see, there is a little screw here on the bottom and its function is to drain any of that water out. And it's just a screw mechanism, just like this. And as you can see there, we have some more seals. And what would happen is any of the water that's collected in the water bowl down the bottom, sometimes these are clear, so you can see if there is water there and if it does need draining, you basically remove the drain tap and out comes any built up water. All right, so that's all very well and good, but the reason we are here is to see what the inside of one of these guys looks like. So I'm gonna open this up now and use my trusty hacksaw. Even though this is diesel, it's probably still not a good idea to get stuck into it with an angle grinder. So I will cut this guy open and see what we can find. Oh yeah, so all done. I have gone choppy choppy right around the, the outside lip here. I'm not sure if you can you can see that there. But basically, I've just cut right around the outside lip with the trusty hacksaw, and it lets us take it off just like this. So this is quite heavy, actually. This is That is probably heavier than all of that. So I guess it needs to be that as the part that sort of screws on to the housing overall. So sort of nothing much interesting going on there. So we might just take the bottom drain out first. And you can see the filtration medium here in the middle. So remembering how this works is diesel goes down the outer holes and is forced down there. Then that is then being pushed down into the medium around here. It then is sucked back in underneath here and up and out. So this is our sort of our, our tube. Obviously the diesel can't penetrate the, uh, the hard plastic there. So it's forced right down the bottom there through the filtration material and then back up and out the top here which then seals onto the little lip here sits in there and is sucked out as nice clean diesel away to the injector pump so that's uh that's sort of interesting that definitely is uh, a bit of plastic there let's see if we can get this filter material out it looks like there's a, a bit of a seal around the outside here Seems like it's uh, that that would be the ceiling flange, and so oh, here we go. All right, so here's our 
actual medium itself. I'll see if I can pull some of this apart. And there you go. So that's what that looks like. It is quite papery. That's probably kind of the, the material itself, I would say. I don't know exactly what it's made out of, but it's sort of a pleated, pleated material there, and it's sort of wound around and around like that. To give you an idea, this is after, obviously it's still got a fair bit of diesel uh, on it. We could probably squeeze some out, but this is around about 5,000 Ks old. So it's not too bad. There's, there's sort of not too much dirt or what have you in here. It is sort of quite dark though. Uh, so probably good that we changed it when we did. So you can see inside there's the backing plate down the bottom. Let's we'll see if we can, there, yeah, cool. So this is what the filtration medium would sit on top of like that. So how this is working is diesel is pushed down through the top section here, through these top holes, all the way through the filtration media, collecting any of the gunk and suspending it in the medium itself. Diesel then will drop down through these holes, which collects in the bottom of the filter housing itself. It will then, through the tube here in the middle, get sucked back up through the center hole and then all the way back up the top out here to which we then have our nice clean diesel being extracted from the very center of the filter. And you can see there's nothing else in the housing itself so they're a pretty simple thing. There is a rubber grommet right down the bottom there and that's what is joined at the bottom here where the water separator bung is screwed into. So there you go guys, a super quick video on what is inside your fuel filter. And you can see all the different materials that need to go together to put one of these things together so that it can filter your diesel. As always guys, I hope you found that video helpful. If you're keen to support the channel, please click the subscribe button here. That's the best way that you can support the channel. Leave a like and a comment down below to let me know what you think. And of course, as always, ensure that you have an amazing day. Cheers, guys.